Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Valgard where we're, we're gonna go get Tash immediately and I'm not, we, maybe we'll just fast travel straight there honestly if I'm going the right direction I'm probably not probably not going the right direction nope not going the right direction how hang on hmm. we haven't actually been there so we might just need to go to the crossroads first we'll do that we're gonna do, we're just gonna do shortcut as much as possible because I keep part of me is like people are finishing the game and it actually is really like like at this point and I'm like because it makes me think the game's only like 40 hours long and then like once I like finish all this it's gonna be like and now time to end and I'm like I just got everybody you know what I mean this is where I'm at I'm a little scared so I'm kind of stalling I think which is not it's not Tasha's fault poor Tosh. I'm just having issues. All right, we are in a new part of the fade. And we do need to head the exact opposite direction. What? Where? Who? When? Why? Are you guys you guys good down there? We just Oh, nope. Okay. We're, I was like, why is my game stuttering? Just a bunch of enemies showed up. You know, we could just go. This is not... What is... What? I was like, what's that beam thing? Oh. It's a beefiest fake... Go he go Listen, I was trying to leave. I was trying to leave. Bye. What? Oh, apparently we're just. This is just. This is just. This is just now. Okay. Can I be it's done? An interesting line of work. You're oh, uh, exploring the fate hardly work. I could spend several lifetimes researching its mysteries. But that's just it. It's too much. Hmm. I don't follow. Mages never do. Interesting. I think Davern's definitely a two feet on the ground kind of guy, despite, you know, being the guy with the griffin that he's going to ride in the future. Um, but yeah, no, I could see that, right? Like, it's just two different, two very different perspectives. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, there, this is, a, is, this, is this just an open... Like... It's just right here, though. I, I'm, I, I'm, doing, I'm sorry, Tash. We'll get to you eventually. I, I, this shouldn't take too long, I say. <laughs> I thought it was Over further there. away. Another entryway, like the one that took us to that soulless memory. But apparently, no. And I'm not passing these by. There. It's happening again. We're in another of Solus's memories. Remember last time? The past really can still hurt you. Hmm. Can't it, though? Glad you made it here safely. I didn't love our odds without you. Who am I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a... Wait. He looks different. Than he did. Oh no, he's still pretty the, much the same. Okay. Who? Me? Alright. Everything's in place. We hit Algonan's island fortress tonight. Oh. This is our best chance to free the people he's enslaved. Get in, save as many as you can, and bring them back here to Sanctuary. Be fast and be safe. I'll meet you on the other side. Ben Haral scouting ahead for freedom. For the Dread Wolf! I mean, this is not that many people. I hope there were more spirits here besides us. So, the Dread Wolf is testing his noble rebels against my stronghold. How courageous. I am busy. I am, I am hearing. Remember, these memories can hurt us. Yeah, I know. I'm in pain. More of Solus's memories. Elganon sent his guards to attack the Dreadwolf's rebels. Can't have anyone standing up to him in public. Interesting. I hope, um, 
Emmerich's been brought up to speed. <laughs> oh, what do I have, though? I have skills. The fact that my I can't level up on the character screen is a little weird. I think it, keep, it keeps messing with me. What do I have available to me? Ooh. Required level 30? Oh, oh, okay. Then I'm just gonna let you, like, run around and get new, more, like, new specialty abilities willy-nilly. Projectile abilities deal 25% more damage but consume 10% health. What kind of trade is that? I don't like that at all. And this one converts shield toss. I don't want to convert shield toss. I want to actually chuck my shield around. So I think I'm going to have to go... Not have to. Probably just go... This way? Uh, okay. The thing is, is I feel really bad every time having to fight... The... The elves that are here. You know? Oh, this one. You persist for naught. The people under my rule are not yours to plunder. More gods. Do you hear that? They're like screaming in there. I'm glad to see we all made it. Elganon's forces are making things interesting. You. Keep moving no matter what. Free those slaves. Me? Oh, I thought you were we'll telling take Solus. everyone else and give the guards something to think about. Ooh, hang on. I thought he was talking to Solus and I was like, hey, what? He's just like you. Like, he's still mad at him. But he's not. Oh, no. They all have toes. Well, I think Solus's toes are actually out. But his are, unfortunately, um... He has toe boots. Uh, I was having an issue I noticed in some of the screenshots where, like, they're pretty faded. In this dream sequence. Oh, he looks more brunette in this one. Does he just keep changing his hair? I mean, live your best life. We must be swift. Elganon is coming. I'm also not a hundred percent. Right, yeah, he's. I'm not sure what the timeline is on these things. Like, what's the timeline of the. Um timeline of the <laughs> events this the first one we saw seemed like a later one where Solus was like willing to sacrifice the spirits and was like colder whereas these other ones seem like they're earlier you know uh, when he still is like ner a bit nervous or like uneasy you know so that's interesting and because in the last one with Gillanon, it seemed like he was still trying to kind of be stealthy about things. Like, wasn't actively, like, attacking. And now he is. And he, was, he wasn't the first one, too. Um, but we're just trying to free Slay. That's what we're... We aren't trying to do anything in super, like, artifacty or whatever. Like, take down the gods. He's just trying to save the slaves right now. But what does he think is going to happen afterwards, you know? Like, they'll all always be kind of on the run, stuck in the sanctuary that he's got. But, I mean, that's better than nothing, right? I just, like, it's like, I hope he has, like, a full-term, like, or, or full-scale, like, assault plan, you know? Like, it wasn't just to free the slaves and bring them to a safe place, but and maybe, maybe that's what he figures out pretty quick, is that he can't just do keep doing that. Like, he needs to, like, come up with, like, a, a long-term solution. And if the Evaneers won't listen, then, you know, and then they kill Mythal, and he's like, ah, and it goes off the rails. But, um, yeah. Threatened. No wonder this is such a potent memory. Again, like, you want to, like, free the slaves, right? But then, like, you have to fight the people who are kind of enslaved, maybe mentally, you know? I mean, they might be willingly serving him. And what are we? Would that be like, um, you know what I mean? Like, are we, what spirit are we? Or are we another elf? You know what I mean? 
Okay, hang on, I just have to look at things. And it's like, ooh, I'd love to see, you know, the city fully intact, but apparently they, um, have been under siege for a while. <laughs> Or we just, the memory isn't powerful enough to totally reconstruct everything. Because it does kind of like, I think that is probably the case, right? Where it like kind of forms like rails and sometimes like where it's like, Ooh, look, here's what it used to look like. And it's like, oh, okay. But we are walking on the plate. We are walking in the place where gods walk. Like at least godlike entities, right? Like very crazy. Like it would have to be crazy. Like even if like the D even though the Dalish are not given a chance to like have like a crisis in this game, like I think my character would be like Quickly, you know get torn. Us out of here. Locks tight, and no sign of a key. Oh, not that one. Uh, but we'll get the little wisp. Come here, wisp, wisp. Oh, okay. Use this to open this and get the wisp. Why is the wisp stuck? The wisp isn't stuck in there. The wisp could go in and out if it wants to. It can go in and out of walls. Can I... Is this not where I was supposed to put the beam? I don't know where the beam was supposed to go. Oh, they both... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is a beam replacement, and then... Or this is like the not orb replacement and the not orb will go over here. Freeing slaves, freeing a wisp. Thank you. Thank you all. There's an alluvian they nearby. We'll head there right away. Go. The dread wolf must be waiting for you. The, they're all wearing the robes that I that I wear now in my casual wear. Um, Felison did have Mythal's tattoo on his face, like Mythal's Valisling. Um, but I think some of them like actively chose it um, as a way to like symbolize their like devotion to her. Essentially, I think. But I don't know. Maybe she did require Valisling. Maybe she did require slave brands for a while. Oh, it's nice. It's cool to see that they're all actually running. You know. Quickly, Elkanan approaches. Are you? Stop he his is guards. Scared. We need to buy time for the captives to get to safety. I will hold off Elkanan himself for as long as I am able. Dang. Okay. Is this like this is like the first big like thing that they were trying to do? Maybe the vermin keep coming. Where's Mythal? Uh, I will deal with that ragged wolf. Wait, Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought maybe one of these was going to be Elgranan and I could look at him. It does not appear so. I wonder what the, I I do. Somebody asked me the other day, like they brought it up, like so why wolf? And I'm like. I don't know. Like, I don't know why Solus is the Dread Wolf. Why his, like, moniker is a wolf. One last push. If you, you got, what you gotta do, guy, is, like, aim at me properly. Otherwise, I can't bounce things back at you. Mercenary Defender. Okay, because they're making a weird noise, so I'm like, like, are you okay? This solace, no matter how far you run. Let the big asshole rant. Everyone we freed is safe in the crossroads. Without all of you, well, thank you. But can Elganon find us here? He cannot. I have made sure of. <sighs> solace? Oh. Elganon is a powerful opponent. My apologies. It is of no consequence. It is. It is. What matters, my friends, is that today, all of us are free. See? See? <laughs> he started out. I think this is like him starting out. 
I wonder if the reckoning is when Mythal I is killed. I think that's it. The memory ends here. Huh. Solus actually did some good back in the day, freeing those people. Listen, I'm one telling you guys. But wonder where he changed. Yes. And now all that's left is this fragment. Come on, let's go. And the legacy that it wrought, but yes. Shut up, I have memories to pick up. I wonder, with this, a, a reckoning will happen and then this very distinctly Mythal statue here. I can't imagine they would punish Solus by killing Mythal, though, one of their own. Indicating that a god can be killed is, uh, t like, uh, is it not tantamount to destruction, but like, the antithesis of what they want, you know? Like, they want to be seen as forever, like, having, you know, never began and never ended, you know, type thing. But I bet, and maybe that's why things went so wrong with Solus, why he was so willing to be so cold, because he felt like in trying to be a good person and trying to give freedom to people, he lost the one person that he, or like the one of the people he cared about the most, you know? Oh, that's so tragic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll see where this leads. What is that? What are you guys doing in there? Oh, uh, I'm gonna let you guys carry on as you are. Bells about. Ooh! I don't have that one equipped actually right now. Oops. I have the. Oh, they're both blue though. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. He was. He was sacrificing himself. He was afraid. Like, he was afraid of Elgarnon, but he still was doing what he thought was the right thing. Here's what I don't get about the Fate, Emric. To free Somehow it's a source of creation and where spirits live. And the place we go with dream and and your own people the dalish believed it the home of the gods and that and some sort of kingdom for demons as well as the source of all magic and maybe where souls pass through after they die that's a rather simple summary simple is it it wouldn't be worth studying if it were dull <laughs> that's such a good answer Ravain, we're, we're going to Ravain. I know we should probably split the two. Let's see, who do we want to bring? Oh, who was it? Or what was, hang on, hang on. What is the actual quest? She is luring a dragon from his lair so that the lords can safely loot his treasure, but brutal on top. Invaders have plans of their own. Okay. So, we're going to be fighting Kunari. I think I'll bring Emmerich out, actually. We haven't... We need to boost up his, his friendship level, so... And Tosh is a warrior, so we don't really need to bring Daphrim. Yeah, let's do that. Like, I'm a warrior. We could have a warrior party. That'd be fine. Also, throwing Emmerich in with another warrior type to... But tease him, tease him, or whatever is, yes, is funny. Um, okay, good. <laughs> is that? Is that her? <laughs> her armor is sick. Hey. Why? <laughs> is this Iron Bull again? To be fair, Iron Bull was a lot more verbose. She's like, see, and her hair is what I want. I want that big, long braid. And like, look at everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so funny. Ah, uh, That looks painful. For them. Yeah. For them. You must be Tosh. I'm Rook. Here to help any way I can. 
The Lords want to hit a cave on the coastal cliffs. Big Vincimer makes her lair there. We get her out, the Lords get in, we go home and get drunk. Might be more on Tom. <laughs> Don't get in my way. I'm actually in love. Like, what the heck? <laughs> <This seems nice. laughs> I'm in love. So what's the plan exactly? I... We need to lure the Vinsimer out of her lair. I set bait. She comes out to eat. My partners loot the lair while she's out here. We'll find the bait on the beach. Ravine is so beautiful, and that arm. Do you see the armor she's wearing? You I said the dragon was a witch was a Vinsima. Yeah, blue with a yellow belly, breathes lightning. Beautiful, oh. beautiful. I wish I'd known to prepare for lightning. We're not fighting her. Lords just want the horde in her lair. Well, I'm trying to hire a dragon hunter, so we'll probably end up fighting the dragon. I just, she's so pretty. <laughs> Be ready. They go hard. They really do. It's really difficult, honestly, to fight on top of my new Watch yourself. Dang. Well, sure. Here you go. E. I was trying to catch her mid. Uh... Mid reap. <laughs> oh, oh, this is cool. This is very cool. It'd be cool to get her like mid leap, but ooh, this is actually really neat. Look at this. All right, cool. You do them. No, please come into my lair. I would, I would love that. Shit. Just, Just gonna way. siphon all of you while you're here too. Oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, came around the corner and I saw that. Come on. So you've got no problem fighting other Kunari. I'm from what? Ravane. Not like I follow the Kune. Yeah, that's always such a dumb ropes. question. Sure. <laughs> I wear a lot of stuff. You don't get to tell me who I am. Doesn't matter anyway. The Antom don't follow the Kune either. Not anymore. It's true. Jeez. Tell me, Tom, <gasps> what made Gorgeous. you want to join us? I well, don't. Wait, she has uh, Yeah, I thought she you wanted us here to help you. No. Yeah. We were just I think we were just thrust upon her. Her armor is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Huh? Oh my gosh, I knew I knew I was like leaving Tosh for last. I was like I told I told my friends I'm like, I can't decide until I get Tosh. I have to get everybody. And now I'm like I'm stunned. Breathtaking. Makes up for, uh, well, no, I'm saying. Nev is really good too. Two very different types of women, and I'm just. <laughs> very pleased with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nev and Tosh in the same squad would be so funny. I will need to do that as soon as I can. Nev, please forgive me. I'm sorry. A whirl. Nice. A whirl. Not a whirl with an eye, a whirl. Look, I'm tough. See? I'm I'm cool. Did you see how impressive that was? <laughs> I just kicked that door down. This is so sick though. And she is from Ravane, so that is cool. Um, but yeah, it's such a dumb question. It's like asking it's like asking an elf, oh, you don't like killing other elves if they're attacking you? Like I think potentially there'd be like a little bit of like a ooh, oh, oh man, dang, you know, rough buddy, you know what I mean? But it's like you know like but this is a job, you know what I mean? Like humans kill humans all the time. We have no qualms doing that, you know what I mean? We're not fighting the dragon? No. Vincimers eat big game, usually sea life. They're not hostile unless you do something stupid. We're gonna right. fight a kraken. Look around and it's there. Right. So we lure her out, then the lords go Griffin. in and grab anything shiny. But you do kill dragons, right? 
You're a dragon hunter. I kill them when they need killing. This one doesn't. Yeah, I think, like I said, a lot of the, at least a lot of Kunari, I think it's kind of in their blood that they have, like, a respect for dragons. Um, I can assume that wouldn't necessarily be the case. She wasn't raised in the queue, and she's, uh, a gray one? What do you, not Vashoth? Not Tal Vashoth, those who have gone, like, mad, you know, and, like, become monsters, essentially, but there's the the ones who were raised outside of the queue and who never knew it, and are just fine, just fine. Normal people, you know? Which is what the, the Kuhn is afraid that, that the Kunari, the Kunari Kuhn don't think that that's possible. Okay. Too bad I can't swim. It's so beautiful. It's Ravain. Oh, I hope I get to be like a seer woman. Oh, I hope, I hope I get to. I bet you, I bet you I will. I bet you I'll be able to come back and play around in Ravain. So I'm not gonna like worry too much right now with stuff, but... Alright. Beach is up ahead. Right. You said we'd find bait here. Bait will find us. Come on. How exciting I like, the chance to I observe the fauna of Ravain. <laughs> these, two, these two be so funny, too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm having a great time. Look Dragon there. Beach. Deep Very... Stalker. Why are they outside? Why are the deep stalkers outside? Look at her face in the icon. And uh, <laughs> things. Oh my gosh! I almost ripped my headphones out. Um, oh, what do you do? Sick. Grants invulnerable. Well, uh, let's. Do they find us? Oh, she just came right out of nowhere. Quite a few of them. Dragons have big stomachs. Oh, we we want like I feel like a bunch of little guys though wouldn't necessarily be that interesting for a dragon, you know. And are we just like fighting outside the uh you know, the the, the dragon layer? Like actual dragon layer? Now there's a larger specimen. That's the pack leader. Take her down! I am not touching any of these boulders, these barrels that will explode. Ooh, I almost touched the exploding barrel. Oh, dang, she's like... Deep Stalker Matriarch. Vulnerable to fire. Well, it's a good thing, I guess. I did- Okay, good, I got in range. I was like, I did not actually mean to click that. She is this. She is crazy. Look at this. The, the, the deep stalker matriarch. Ow! I am having a really hard time with this. Okay. My gosh. Now what? Now I get the fire gun and make our dragon dinner. That was the toughest deep stalker fight I've ever had in my life. Good. She'll like it. And this potion will put her to sleep for a few hours. But we gotta get her attention. Use the horn up there. I'm glad we're not Come just willy-nilly killing dragons. So we held up our end of the bargain. You did okay. There was there was no bargain though, to be fair. So what do y'all do? Right now? <laughs> we're trying to take down evil god monsters and their blighted dragons. Would you what? like to help? That can't be yeah. right. Dragons don't get blighted. They're smart enough to avoid that crap. However it's happening, the gods <sighs> are using the blight to force dragons to attack people. That's messy. <laughs> Somebody needs to stop them. See, she, she'll care about the dragons, which is fair. The dragons are really, really amazing. Really gorgeous. I I loved fighting the dragons in Inquisition, but more than that, I was like, can't I just be friends with them? You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're so beautiful. I just won't... Hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. Where did it go? Like, you know... But there was one, there's one, there was like a, a red oh, and, right yeah, I see it. There was a red and blue one, like bright red and bright blue in the Empress that you fight on top of the Colosseum. It's the first, dra no, first dragon in the Empress, I think. Stunningly gorgeous. I love that dragon. It's so beautiful.
That looks like explosive. I should not hit that. Oh, Raveni statues. I... Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, no, the, the Lords of Fortune had the best armor, e no matter what you are. Like, uh, at least as far as I thought, for Mage and Rogue, it was so gorgeous. And I literally, for half a second, was tempted to ju just for the armor to be a Lords of Fortune. But my Kunari that I made, I made her a Lord of Fortune and a Mage. I hope we don't have to fight you, I guess. That old Grey Warden Fort. Anton might be there. I want to see what they're doing, if it's anything the Lords of Fortune need to worry about. The Vincima responded I think... quickly to the horn. This time? You fed her before? Took a while to get her used to it. Sounds like you've got her trained. You train a dog. You reach an understanding with a dragon. Yeah. You okay over there, Emmerich? I would say, if the, if the dragons are smart enough to avoid blight, then they're smart enough to recognize that, like, you know, oh, sometimes you can get a free meal out of this canary, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, do you think that was cool, huh? Oh, she didn't even, she didn't even see it. <laughs> I, think it's, I don't think I've had, I think I've had to kick things, like, once before, or, like, beams in Arlathan, but as soon as I show up with a beefy canary woman, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I need to kick this down, and I'm just bashing it open, I'm like, yeah, did you see that? I also have thick thighs. <laughs> you know. It's so funny. Dang it, I was hoping it would make a sound. Yanks! She's stunning. She has I don't wanna ever change her armor. I just wanna only give her give her that armor forever. Oh, oh. Uh, day four, clear weather, warm and humid, found more traces of gold in lower streams. Tomorrow we'll attempt to climb upper cliffs. I believe a major node may load may be nearby. Have seen Antam again, but it's easy enough to avoid them. Mm. And next we're gonna find a dead body here. Now How do you want me to get up this? There's like stairs. Vinsomers are clumsy on land. Better in the water. They cut the surface. In the like water? A they swim. Really? They dive down after prey like a giant bird. Sometimes they stun schools of fish with their lightning. Gulp them all down in a single bite. That does make sense. Emmerich would be like taking notes like 100%. He'd be like, oh my gosh, this is fascinating. I'll send notes to that dragon researcher I met in Ole. You know what I mean? The one from Inquisition. He, the guy we met in my favorite place, the Western Approach. He was he was a hoot, that guy, that Orlesian scholar. Totally oblivious to everything. Okay, yeah, Grey Warden. Ravane was attacked pretty early on, and like just a second time. Ooh. She came rather close. Letting us know <laughs> she sees us. Might also be her way of saying thanks for the food. Oh, I hope she's all right. Now I'm. Now I hope she's all right. Now I'm attached to her, as a, as a, as an entity, you know. All oh, these. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> there's soldiers right there. Let me in. <laughs> Look at these tiny wardens. Why are they all facing different directions? Why? Can I just... I think it's absolute bull honky. I can't do that. Fine, I'll go down here. Maybe we this should have called her the Dragon Whisperer. Why was it abandoned? This used to be a big Grey Warden outpost. They left after the dark spots. Yeah. Um, that's what you had to do. The Western Approach uh, Fort was also abandoned. It was on the edge of the Abyss that had opened up, I think. 
not during the first blight, during the second blight. I knew it. I saw them and I went right, left, straight. I knew they would be a part of something. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. I made sure, like, when I, when I happened to see them, I was like, oh, I gotta remember what order those are in because that's too weird. It's too weird to not be part of some puzzle. <laughs> my observational skills coming in handy. Yeah. Oh, did you lower down that ladder I saw earlier? Because that would be sick. Yes, and this will take us up to a treasure chest, I think. Oh no, is this one? Where, where is it? I was thinking of... Yes, okay. See? See? I was like, they look too... They look too weird. They look too weird to not be part of something. Another Grey Warden thing. The game is biased, I'm telling you. Which is fine. Grey Wardens are awesome. I did make a Lord of Fortune for my next, mm, my next one, but, uh, which I haven't started yet. I just got the, I got the itch to make a Canari, and I, she's so beautiful. I did a really good job on her, I think. <laughs> I think you may maybe make some tweaks here and there, but I just, I made her as tall as possible and very muscular. And I tried to make her face more rugged like the Canari used to be before they got, you know, smoothified. Before they got like Chinese drama fied where they put filters on everything. You see. I think you're pretty smooth faced. Yeah. Yeah, I She's still beautiful, obviously. I see the Omtom have arrived. Let's check inside the fort. I wanna see what they're doing. I mean, we're not really being stealthy. Are these explosive? <laughs> <sighs> nope, not explosive. Oh, is that Ravani or or Canari? Hi, more on top. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Weak dust people. Weak dust people. She does speak. You're not like the Kinari language. Or maybe a little bit. And so she was just like, "What you said? The outpost what? After the Grey Wardens abandoned it? Yeah. No. Ravane and the Kinari were at peace forever. Then the Antom broke away from the Kune and invaded. The Kinari builders are part of a different caste. They didn't break away." So the Antom take over old forts like this instead of building their own. I think the Grey Wardens abandoned this a long time ago. This is an old fort, not... Like, the Antom just taking it because it was abandoned for a long time, you know? But it is true, Ravane and, um... What are these? Oh, you can do these sick. What? Blistering dragstone, very heat resistant. What? Just because we're not friends yet, you can't do it? How will I know to come back to this particular spot? Are they gonna put it on the map? Maybe they will later. But yeah, Ravane is actually kind of like partly, there's like there's like some people who follow the Kune. There's people who, there's some people who follow the Chantry, but they do have the, they're also, they're, they're seer women. Interesting. Oh my gosh, is this some of the Byzantine style from like the third century? Oh my gosh. This looks so reminiscent of like our world, the Byzantine style. Okay, hang on. I don't know, I cannot. Okay, maybe not. I was thinking that the brick was maybe gold, but it's not. The Byzantine style used so much like gold foil and stuff that it's actually one of the things during like one of the schisms during that the Catholic Church had between Eastern, like Byzantine Orthodox and like uh, Western, whatever, Catholic stuff. Um, they there was a, a whole like idol schism, right? Where it was like they were trying, everybody was trying to decide what was the 
you know, what was the definition of an idol and like what should we do with idol? Like we we shouldn't worship idols, you know, stuff like that, um, which is so funny in the Catholic Church to me because they have so many idols. Um, but it's not like pagan idols, right? Like to me, the saints are similar to like idols, but like I don't know, maybe that's controversial. I don't really know anything about Catholicism. Only what I've learned from like podcasts and like about the Crusades and then what I've learned uh, when I went to Italy and like books I've read to go to Italy. But like anyway, during one of the schisms, anything that was seen as even ornamental was considered idolatrous. So a lot in a lot of Western Europe, we don't like they used to have Byzantine like mosaics and stuff like that, really beautiful works of art. They tore them all down, and uh, even I think even pictures of Christ at some point were considered idolatrous, potentially because you're worshiping the image instead of like the the, the person, you know. Um, but yeah, there was some, we found one in Naples that still had, like, a third century Byzantine mosaic. Um, and it was so, like, a, 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 it was a cathedral. So stunning. But it has these, um, like, arches, as in, what, domes. It has these, like, domes. Um, and they're sometimes, like, cut in half like this. And then there's, like, beautiful blue, like, paint and, like, other colors. But the blue always pops out on the gold filigree. And it's so nice. I can see, like, it seems like it might be similar uh, with the whatever halo they have behind the warden here. Which, I don't know if this is, like, a Ravani style thing. Because we don't usually see halos on wardens like this. Um, so maybe it's like a Ravani touch, you know, along with this. It must be, that must be like the Ravani crest. Oh, this is very, very cool. Hang on, I need a picture of this. I need a picture. This is me in museums. Like, I am the worst person to take to museums. Like, you're like, oh, no, that's cute. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not cute. It takes me so long. I do not, I do not, people don't enjoy going with me. Which is fine, because for the most part, I just do it myself, you know? Like, when I'm traveling around. But when I went with my sister, we had to make some rules for me so that I wouldn't, like, drive her to completely mad. And I still did drive her a little mad, but, you know. I tried. The only exception was that the Naples Museum, um, where all the Pompeii stuff, where a lot of the Pompeii stuff is kept. And uh, I got to have a day to do as long as I wanted at that Naples Museum. And then I got to have two days in Pompeii and Herculaneum. And we did like a day and a half in Pompeii and like half a day in Herculaneum. And I got to do that. That was that was my treat. But it was her senior trip. So like she she had the run of the mill on most of the stuff. But I did take her to a bunch of museums. I didn't really know what else to do. <laughs> so, I mean, I did. But like we did other things. But I was like, but you have to see the museums, you know. And <laughs> I was like, there's famous Caravaggio paintings in, in the Rome thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you haven't lived until you've seen them. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this one, this one might be a little short, but I have been recording for an hour, so I'll probably call this one here. And it's past midnight. Woo! Um. I think I'll probably keep going. I'll probably get Tosh. And then I'll probably do one more episode. But yeah. Anyway. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut away now and go say thank you to my patrons. All right, really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons, Riz Galito. Thank you so much. And Sebastian James. Thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.